Hey guys, Striker5570 here, and it has been a while, hasn't it? Um, I apologize for not have made a video in quite a while. Um, as you can see, I've moved my printer. Um, I've actually changed uh, to a completely different room. It just looks exactly the same. Um, so I've been really busy with that, uh, starting up the new school year. Um, so, anyways, uh, I've actually made several videos, but I hadn't posted any of them because as soon as I film them, I made a lot more progress, and it was already outdated before I even posted it. So, uh, as of right now, this is uh, the setup I have, and uh, I have the heated bed on right now. It is at 70 degrees. Let's see, I can show you right here. I don't know if you'll see the LCD, but I got that heated up to 70 degrees for PLA and uh, 210 on the hot end. So, so I'm still trying to work out a few bugs here. Um, this is a lightsaber part here, I don't know. Let's see that as well. Come on. There we go. So you can see it has those bubbles on it that I had in that video I had a long time ago. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how to get rid of these. I've been messing with the, the retraction settings uh, a whole bunch. Um, but and I'm still getting those little pills on the uh, outside. And this only really appears on round objects. So I'm not exactly sure. If someone knows what this is or can help me out here. Um, I, I'm printing the same part again here, uh, just with some slightly different retraction settings. Uh, since this part is completely, completely round, um, it really shows up uh, all these pillings. Um, for example, this little box right here, I did uh, same exact settings and everything, and it turned out almost perfect. No pills or anything, but that's a flat surface, so I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. But, um, but uh, besides that, uh, my end stops are all hooked up. They are all working, so it makes uh, you know doing setting up for another print really fast. Um, I haven't done anything with the wires back here. However, I just printed a bunch of um, cable chain, and that will go in the back. Uh, so this stuff is is great. Uh, it's, It'll uh, guide all those wires and make it look a little neater. Uh, also, soon I will be making a uh, filament holder. Um, I'm just thinking of putting just some sort of bar coming out of here. Um, I found these threaded rods actually in the dumpster. They were just sitting right next to it. I'm like, I could use those. So I'll maybe make a bracket or something um, that will adapt this because uh, these are, um, I believe, either half inch or three eighth inch rod uh, and but they don't fit in the slot or anything like that so I'm gonna have to uh, I'll print a part that'll uh, make a little adapter for that rod so that'll be very help very useful um, I haven't made any brackets or anything for mounting anything besides the, uh, the switch I got the switch wired up um, so that's all good to go uh, also uh, these clips right here, um, those might be replaced. I don't know, let me know if this you think this is a good idea, but I was thinking of just capped on taping the bed uh, to the, uh, heat, capped on taping the, the glass to the heat bed. So, I don't know, I'll try that out. Because uh, if I try and home it, uh, home the axes, it will hit these clips since it, uh, uh, when it finishes a print, it goes over here, or if you kill a print, it moves to home. I can always change that, I guess, um, where it, where it goes after I kill a print. But um, these, regardless, are in the way. Say I wanted to do an extra large print, they would be in the way. So yeah, everything looks pretty smooth. Uh, it's working out quite nicely. I just got to figure out what to do about the little pills, and uh, and I can move forward from there. So. Yeah, sorry for the for it being so long since this video, but uh, you know, uh, I do 
I do. It. I am a full-time student. I do work as well. So, you know, it's you know, when I get around to it, this is just my my hobby. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for the next update video. And uh, any questions or comments, uh, post down below. I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. Thanks.